Hi ladies, God bless you. So I just wanted to welcome each and every one of you. And in this video, we're just gonna have some chit chat time. I just wanted to sit here and talk to you guys and just give you some life updates and just say hello and thank you to those who recently have subscribed to my channel you guys so god bless you hope you guys are all well leave down below in the comments where you're watching from and yeah i would like to see that so anywho i'm gonna jump right into this talk and a quick sidebar i'm going over to starbucks because i want some coffee you guys i don't have any more coffee grounds at home better for me to have iced coffee because i don't have my gallbladder yeah my gallbladder was removed um going on a few years ago already yeah time is flying i have to really watch out for um things that have a lot of acid like tomato sauce is so bad for me right now and it sucks because i really love pasta and i love my turkey spaghetti i just like pasta you know and certain other dishes it really sucks you guys even pizza and let me tell you i be cheating but the heartburn comes like this so it really sucks but anywho coffee can be very acidic so the way iced coffee is brewed it's not as acidic as regular coffee so i'm going over to starbucks and i never order their just plain iced coffee nothing added to it i'm gonna start doing that um not just with starbucks but probably other places as well because I like the creamer I have at home. I have I usually get like an oat creamer and I like Dunkin' Donuts. That way I can just add what I want to put in it, you know? So, anywho, um, yeah, that's enough about Starbucks. <laughs> if you guys like coffee, um, leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe if you guys have not already joined. So, God is good. The Lord is faithful, you guys. Like I said, it's been a minute since I've been posting on this channel, but I'm officially back. So I took a much needed break. And you know, when the Lord is saying to take a break with certain things, I gotta be obedient to that. So our middle son is an official US Marine. Some of you guys have probably seen um, his graduation video. And then he was just here recently for the holidays. I was so happy to see my son, he came back um, and surprised us because he was told no at first he couldn't get um, this was back in Christmas of last year of 23 um, at first they told him no and then he calls me up mommy I'm coming he was so excited I remember I couldn't even sleep whenever my son got on an airplane I just could not sleep I had to wait until he got where he needed to go especially when he went back home to North Carolina he was so excited to come back home it's so weird saying his home in North Carolina, even when he was here. I was like, Jaden, are you gonna take this home with you? You're gonna take this home with you? Cause he did take a few items back to North Carolina, which is his second home. He stationed there for three years, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm glad that he has a new change of scenery coming from California. Cause we never really traveled much, but I'm, I, I'm just praying. And I know the Lord is gonna be changing that for me in the future real real soon I'm, i want to travel you guys like i really want to go take my other two sons on their first airplane rides because they've never been on an airplane before so i believe most likely their first airplane ride my oldest son and my youngest son their first airplane ride most likely will be going to north carolina because i gotta go see my boy he feels so far from home you know it's a big adjustment coming from california all the way to north carolina and then the weather is totally different you know so yeah he's adjusting but i'm so glad i'm happy for him he got a couple of promotions raises he has a car god bless him with a car one of his staff sergeants left his car at the base and he went back home to virginia and told Jaden he could use the car but he wind up selling Jaden the car for only 200 dollars so that is just so wonderful i'm gonna stop and get my coffee because i made it to starbucks you guys back to my son Jaden he is doing really good like I said and God blessed him with the car he got an awesome deal on the computer because the staff sergeant that sold him a car he gave him a laptop like a thousand dollar laptop for super super cheap and I know God touched that man's heart to bless our son and he didn't have to do what he had to do but I know that was the Holy Spirit touching his heart so he got an awesome deal on the TV because um, he has like a, um, a dorm there. He shares a dorm with another soldier. There's like two to a room, but the dorms are so nice. He took me like on a um, virtual tour 
um yeah even his brothers we got to see a few times it's really really nice so yeah his living situation is really nice he has his own washer and dryer like he is so blessed so i really miss my boy because i raised my kids from the time they're born you know never really had babysitters i didn't even to be honest with you i just didn't want anybody around my kids so um i stayed home with them until they all went into public school and actually i had wanted to homeschool them but at that time my husband did not agree to it but looking back on it we should have homeschooled them but Anywho, so I have three sons for those who are just probably just new to this channel. Maybe you just clicked on it. My oldest will be 20 this April, okay? 20 years old. And my youngest just turned 16 this past December. And then Jaden, who's a Marine, um, he just turned 18 and he got his license when he was here, you guys. So I'm so excited for him. And um, yeah, he even got a new battery for his new car. It's a late model car, but it's okay. He said he's not trying to get anything fancy. He doesn't really need super fancy right now because he's just on the base. The main thing is just to get around the base and then he has a lot of freedom now because he's actually a Marine and um, he's at a point where they get more freedom. He has the weekends off so he's able to go off base. So I'm just really happy for him. I'm just really happy for him. I'm just so blessed and I just it's just another thing for me to be praying about when you have your children away from home. You know moms we could definitely other moms, what I'm trying to say, can definitely relate to that. When your children are not at home with you anymore, they're grown up. Whew, I just give God, I just put my kids into the hands of God, you know. And my youngest son, Elijah, he's getting older. He has a mustache and a beard coming through. And he is just so hilarious. Like, I just enjoy our morning rides in the morning when I take him to school. He goes to school out of the district. So every morning I'm on the road getting him to school. And we just have like a fun time, you know. I actually want to record it, but he was like, no, mommy. But it would be so cool to record that. But I have to respect him. I'm not, I don't just put my kids on social media unless I ask their permission. Um, you've seen some of my kids um, on my channel. Um, they have been in some of the videos, but only when they allow me to do it. But anyway, whew, what other updates do I want to give? Um god is good god is faithful you guys um i definitely need to go on some more shopping hauls um to restock so look forward to some shopping and restock videos i know a lot of ladies out there love those type of videos when you go shopping i haven't been to hobby lobby well i did go but i didn't film because i've been on a break so i was kind of disappointed when i went in there because i thought they would have like more spring stuff maybe i just went in too soon but I definitely want to go around and look at some stores for spring decorations when more spring decorations come out. Because I definitely want to do something new throughout the house. And I'm thinking I want more live plants. I love those type of plants that dangle and, you know, that looks like a vine. I like artificial plants and I like real plants. Real plants are kind of hard to take care of, especially in our apartment. We don't get a lot of sunlight because of where our apartment is. But I definitely want to do some new things throughout my place just make it warm and cozy like I said I love flowers I love scriptures on my walls and all that but anywho um yeah I have not been to Costco in months you guys I actually didn't renew when my membership was up for renewal last so I will be renewing my Costco membership within the next two weeks I'm excited about that and going back to Costco because I want to restock on a few things you guys do, 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 do. Are you Hi, I'm good. Yeah. Um, Jamila. Jamila. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I hate no, it's a, no, it's a, it's not a common name. <laughs> well, I'm illiterate. <laughs> uh, it's okay. <laughs> you had it right. You were good. I was going to like Jamila. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. God bless you. You too. Have you guys noticed that I don't have the gray hair? Yes, I dyed my hair some color you guys some revlon boxed hair color but i want to do a protective style because i have really thick coily hair that has a lot of shrinkage so i want to do some braids in my hair so i'll be doing that really soon um i definitely want to go for a pedicure you guys self-care is so important i want to talk a little bit about that so another quick update i went for a body massage and it was so nice and i can't wait to book my next appointment i'll let you guys know where i went i'll leave 
the name here. Maybe you have a Massage Envy in your area you can go to. They have an $80 membership. They do body massage, stretching. They do facials. It was so nice and relaxing. I need to go very, very soon. I'm thinking about doing the membership, so self-care is so important. Then I was thinking, you know what? I really need to get into a uh, face routine, just, you know, taking better care of my skin and cleansing it better. I wanna start juicing. I really wanna get a lot more healthier. I wanna get some weight off. So um, I'm in the market for a new juicer. I'll be getting a new juicer soon. I really wanna do green juice. I actually have a book at home I bought a while ago. It's just juice recipes, green juices, salads and green juicing. I feel like I wanna stick to that for a hot minute because I really need to drop some weight. I've been overweight for 20 years plus. I have not been my normal weight for years. The weight loss has been a struggle. It's been a journey. Um, I've had health issues in the past, but God has brought me through a lot, you guys, because there was a time where I wasn't even walking or sleeping, okay? Because I've had issues in the past with my back and sciatica, nerve damage, but praise God, I'm at where I'm at right now because I'm not where I used to be and it was really, really bad. So praise the Lord. Okay, so the rain has hit California, you guys. It's, well, it started in some cities, but it hit Orange County a little bit later than what they said was gonna happen. But yeah, so it's coming down, but it's not too bad. Thank you so much for tweeting in today's video, you guys. So I'm gonna stop it here to be continued. It was fun just chit-chatting and catching up on some um, recent um, life updates and all that. So we'll have another sit down talk soon. Um, yeah, so God bless you guys. What have you guys been up to and what are your goals for 2024? And I meant to say my goal, my health goals for 2024, I wanna keep it going past 2024 as well. So praise God, God bless you. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions, let me know. God bless you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Get some rest. And remember, the Lord is good. He is always faithful. God is in control. God bless you guys. Take care. Bye.